Good evening, hello and welcome. You're with the news today. This is your prime time destination news. Newsmakers talking points. The big talking point, Prime Minister Narendra Modi's two-hour, 13-minute speech in the vote of no confidence. What was his big message? We'll decode that. We're going to have a fierce debate on that. Also, Mawa Moitra, among the others, will be joining us straight from Parliament where the opposition has just walked out. But first, the nine headlines at nine tonight. Narendra Modi's government wins a no-confidence vote in Parliament amidst an opposition walkout during the Prime Minister's speech. Congress MP Gaurav Gogoi misses the right to reply. Prime Minister Modi lashes out at the Gandhis and the Congress, says they are responsible for the problems of Manipur. The opposition says the Prime Minister is running away from core issues. Another gang rape shocker from violence hit Manipur. A woman allegedly gang raped by three accused in Churachandpur on 3rd May. FIR registered. Congress MP Odi Ranjan Chaudhary suspended for the remaining parliament session over a Neera Modi barb against the Prime Minister. Odi says meant no disrespect towards Mr. Modi. Center list bill to regulate appointment of Chief Election Commissioner and Election Commissioners in the Rajya Sabha seeks to remove the Chief Justice from the selection panel, bypassing an SC order and getting in a Union Minister instead. AAP MP Raghav Chadda hits out at a privilege motion notice against him, challenges BJP to prove he forged any signatures for the Delhi Services panel. RBI keeps repo rate unchanged at 6.5% for the third time in a row, stays vigilant on inflation. Air India reveals its rebranding. A historic golden window is the new logo. Vista represents limitless possibilities and progress. New aircraft, livery unveiled. And at least 36 killed as wildfires sweep through Hawaii's historic Mau Island. But the news just coming in is that the Congress MP and the leader of the party in the Lok Sabha, Odi Ranjan Chaudhary, has been suspended from Parliament. Odi Ranjan Chaudhary has been suspended over making a barb of Neera Modi at Prime Minister Modi when he was speaking. Remember, the opposition, the Congress-led opposition India Alliance staged a walkout during Prime Minister Modi's speech that ended a few hours ago. So the big news coming in. Congress's leader in the Lok Sabha, Adi Ranjan Chaudhary, has been suspended. Listen into what he just said. बहुत दिन पहले हिंदुस्तान को लूट के नीरव मोदी चले गए देश की बाहर देश की खजना लूट के मजे से जिंदगी गुजर रहे हैं आज मुझे लगता है कि नए सिरे से आपकी अंदर और एक नीरव मोदी पैदा हो चुके हैं मतलब क्या मतलब मोनीपुर के मुद्दे पे आप नीरव बैठे हैं चुप्पी साधे हुए हैं मिस्टर साइलेंट बन गए हैं इसका मतलब ये नहीं मोदी जी को मैं अपमान करने की कोई मेरा मकसद नहीं Adi Ranjan Chaudhary suspended from the Lok Sabha. Another minister, uh, opposition MP in the eye of a storm, Mawa Moitra, who delivered a very fierce speech in that vote of low confidence. Let's go straight to her for that opposition walkout that took place. Mawa Moitra, there will be those who will say this is an opposition that called for a no confidence motion on Manipur against the Prime Minister and then walks out halfway through the Prime Minister's speech without listening to him. What's the message, Mawa Moitra, that the opposition has sent out? Is it that you're not willing to listen to Prime Minister Modi? <laughs> um, Rajdeep, it was very clear that the opposition, India, had called for a no-confidence motion. Normally, we're not supposed to call for a no-confidence motion. We didn't have the numbers. The reason we called for it was the Prime Minister steadfastly refused to come to Parliament, of which he's an elected member, and have a discussion on Manipur. We were forced to have a no-confidence motion just in order to get him to the House. He didn't come for the last three days when all of us spoke. He didn't listen. He just came in today like the gladiator that he is, and he thought he would just come here and hump his chest and talk about everything but Manipur. We walked out after one hour, 40 minutes, 
during which he had not uttered a, a word on Manipur. His entire tirade, his entire sermon was telling, um, the, telling Parliament about how useless the Congress Party was. Well, he's in power, right? He's in power. The BJP is in power. Uh, there's no reason telling us how useless the Congress Party is. Speak a word on Manipur. We were absolutely disgusted and appalled, but not surprised because that's always been a strategy, which is why we worked out. But the sense one will get, uh, Mawa Moita, therefore, is that the opposition which set up this no-confidence motion to get the Prime Minister to break his silence on Manipur in Parliament ended up only giving the, plat uh, the Prime Minister a clear platform to attack your India alliance ahead of 2024 elections. But you see, this strategy has been absolutely beaten to the ground. Each time he comes in, did you hear his speech? Was that a speech that the Prime Minister of the greatest democracy in the world gives? Did you see his choice of language? It was one of the most substandard speeches I've even heard Mr. Modi give. It was completely substandard. It's those cheap jibes, those cheap below-the-belt sort of comments that he specializes in making nowadays. So that's what he did the entire time. If, that, if he thinks that's getting him brownie points when this country is burning and when... Uh, you know, uh, everybody's waiting to hear him on Manipur, where he's not visited, where he's not said a word. If the BJP is so stupid as to think that's going to give him, um, uh, give him and the party electoral gains, then I, I think there's nobody stupider than them. You know, the, the BJP though says the Prime Minister has contrasted his strong government that is growth-oriented, taking India into the future versus a negative, disunited, anti-India opposition. He's completely entitled to use the no-confidence motion to contrast his government with a possible opposition government. Sorry, we are not in the dock. This was a no and confidence government against the government on Manipur. We want to know and he, what the Prime Minister is doing on Manipur. We want to know what the Prime Minister has to say on Manipur. He's not there to come and tell us about how terrible and how useless we are. We are that useless. We accept it. We've been voted out of power. We accept it. India is not in power. Modi ji is in power. That's great. You're wonderful. Thump your chest some more, but tell us what you're doing on Manipur. This country is burning. Did you hear Mr. Rathor? Did you hear one of the BJP MPs? He says, Are Manipur ko chodiye Rajasthan pe aaye. Manipur ko chodiye Rajasthan pe aaye. This is it. Their absolute disdain for the Northeast, their absolute disdain for a non Hindi belt. Um, the Congress, one of the speakers actually pointed out today, saying that they don't even believe it's a part of India. I have said exactly the same thing. We've had enough of your what about to We wanted to hear on Manipur. Man. For an hour and 40 minutes, you are sitting there talking of everything else. And frankly, again, Rajneet, it was such a substandard speech. It just didn't behove his office. Mawa Moitra, you can call it a substandard speech. The Prime Minister's supporters will turn around and say, this speech has set the tone for them for the 2024 elections. Prime Minister Modi versus who? BJP versus who? Strong government versus, according to the BJP, a disunited uh, opposition and an inevitability, according to the Prime Minister, that 2024, the BJP is going to return. Rajdeep, if you listen to my speech today, I said that the question that the BJP is always throwing at us is, if not uh, Modi, then who? Anyone with a modicum of decency, anyone with a modicum of shame will be better. I think what Manipur has shown, and I said that, that after this cornerstone, after Manipur, all of India is saying anyone but Modi. If not Modi, then who is a question that's over, that's out. Now it's anyone but Modi. No. Anyone with a modem, modicum of decency of shame would be better than Modi. You know, but that's what Manipur has shown. No, you're saying that, but therefore the no confidence motion, where does it leave 2024? Would you agree the BJP putting all its heavyweight ministers through the last three days was able to carry the day? Or do you believe that the opposition, which some are saying uh, was ill-prepared or so the Prime Minister said for, for a motion like this, lost out? Who won, who lost? The who the prime minister, but of course he did. Did you listen to all the? Did you what they did very? What they thought they were being very smart, typical sort of Shakuni kind of buddhi is that if they were bringing out somebody per state. So you had somebody from Rajasthan speak about Rajasthan. Did somebody from Bengal speak about Bengal? Somebody from Telangana. So they were trying to pit state against state against state against state in the opposition. This is the typical divide and rule politics. And each of their ministers, it's almost like they were competing with each other on the length of their speech. None of them had any substance. Nirmala Smotrama spoke for over an hour. Kiran Rijiju speaks for over an hour. Amit Shah speaks for an hour and a half. Two hours almost. What the time to listen to this and they're speaking on anything but Manipur. Which minister spoke on Manipur? It was a no-confidence motion on Manipur. 
We never said that we are going to bring down the government. We never said we had the numbers. We knew we didn't. But it is so sad that we had to bring a no confidence motion in order to have a substantive discussion on Manipur. The country needed to listen to what the opposition's questions were. Mm -hmm. We actually we didn't expect the prime minister to come with any answers because he thinks this is a master strategy where he's going to come and thump his chest as always and have nothing substantive to say. And I think this really showed up the BJP. It showed up the prime minister. And I think the people of Manipur and the people of Northeast will see what a shameful um, error that the BJP is making in Manipur. They do not consider the North East as an integral part of India. Nothing but, could have demonstrated this more than this no confidence. You know, but, you know, listening to you both here and during your speech, I get a sense that the anger on all sides has now become so deep that there is a deep polarization in this country between the opposition and the BJP. And it's going to bleed up into 2024. Are you saying today to me, bring it on? Is the opposition saying we are ready to take on Mr. Modi and the BJP in 2024? Yes, of course, we are saying 2024, bring it on. We've got four elections coming up, but that's not even, that's, it's not even a 2024 thing, Rati. I mean, you have, like I, I pointed out in my speech, that Manipur is not like the rest of the other states. Manipur, this is a hate crime. These are war crimes. These are crimes against humanity. This country has been torn apart. And we have to take stock now. This government has to take stock. This is a cry for help from people from Manipur that we are trying to voice. I don't think they're covering themselves in glory. This government is not covering themselves in glory by making this an election campaign. It's not. It's about governance now. It's not about winning an election in 24. But Mawa Moitra, the government will again turn around and say, you blame us for Manipur. Look at your own track record. Congress in particular, they say the opposition is talking about crimes against women. Why don't you talk about crimes against women in opposition rule states, including Bengal? The basic argument they make is the opposition doesn't have any moral high ground to talk on crimes in Manipur. You know something, that, that's just it. They are, if the op uh, yes, the opposition was terrible, which is why the opposition's not in power. They are in power. They are in the dock and we need to ask questions. And Manipur is not like any other state. This is a widespread and systematic hate crime against a section of the community. This is civil war. This is ethnic violence of a kind that India has not seen in decades. Do not couch this in whataboutery. I appeal to you, Rajdeep, and I appeal to the media. Do not equate this with a, a random uh, incidents of crimes against women as terrible as they might be in other states. This is widespread hate crimes against a community, a well thought out um, ethnic cleansing, so right. to speak, where Valley can't come to Hill and Hill can't come to Valley. And this is uh, absolutely uh, shameful. Very quickly, if you, tomorrow morning, Prime Minister Modi picked up the phone and spoke to you, unlikely, very highly unlikely. What is your message to the Prime Minister if he rang you up? I would tell him, Mr. Modi, Get your conscience back where it is in that 56 inch chest. Get your conscience back where it is. Get on the first flight. Go to Manipur. Start the peace and reconciliation mission. These are our people. Do not make them feel like this. Okay, great. Mawa Moitra, appreciate your joining us. Fiery and feisty as ever. We leave it there. The opposition angry with what has happened. They claim the Prime Minister didn't spend enough time on Manipur. But where does all of this lie? Let's turn to the big face-off now. Sudanshu Trivedi, one of the BJP's most articulate members of Parliament, is joining us. Ajoy Kumar, former MP of the Congress who's been in charge of the Northeast, is joining us. Gentlemen, I'm going to come... I'm going to play out one by one what the Prime Minister says, and I want you to respond to each of them. My first focus, and I'll then come to you in a moment, Sudanshu ji, targeting the Gandhis. One of the Prime Minister's focus was to expose, he said, the fact that he claimed the India alliance was about saving a dynasty. He called it a Ghamandia alliance. And he said Rahul Gandhi had insulted Bharat Mata. Listen in to what he said about the Gandhis. उसने हर भारतीय की भावना को गहरी ठेस पहुंचाई अध्यक्ष जी पता नहीं मुझे क्या हो गया है सत्ता के बिना ऐसा हाल किसी का हो जाता है सत्ता सुख के बिना जी नहीं सकते और क्या क्या भाषा बोल रहे हैं आदरणीय अध्यक्ष जी पता नहीं क्यों कुछ लोगों को भारत मां की मृत्यु की कामना करते नजर आ रहे हैं इससे बड़ा दुर्भाग्य क्या है 
ये वो लोग हैं जो कभी लोकतंत्र की हत्या की बात करते हैं कभी संविधान की हत्या की बात करते हैं दरअसल जो इनके मन में है वही उनके कृतित्व में सामने आ जाता है मैं हैरान हूं और ये बोलने वाले कौन लोग हैं क्या ये देश भूल गया है ये चौदह अगस्त विभाजन विभिषिका पीड़ादायक दिवस आज भी हमारे सामने उन चीख को लेकर के उस दर्द को लेकर के आता है ये वो लोग जिन्होंने मां भारती के तीन तीन टुकड़े कर दिए जब मां भारती की गुलामी की जंजीरों से मुक्त कराना था जब मां भारती की जंजीरों को तोड़ना था बेड़ियों को काटना था तब इन लोगों ने मां भारती की भुजाएं काट दी मां भारती के तीन तीन टुकड़े कर दिए और ये लोग किस मुंह से ऐसा बोलने की हिम्मत करते हैं बहुत बार कुछ बुरा बोलने के इरादे से भी जब कोशिश होती है तो कुछ न कुछ सच भी निकल जाता है और सच में ऐसे अनुभव हम सबको है कभी कभी सच निकल जाता है लंका हनुमान ने नहीं जलाई लंका हनुमान ने नहीं जलाई उनके घमंड ने जलाई और ये बिल्कुल सच है आप देखिए जनता जनार्दन भी भगवान राम के रूप की है जनता जनार्दन भी भगवान राम के रूप की है और इसलिए 400 से 40 हो गए हनुमान ने लंका नहीं जलाई घमंड ने जलाई और इसलिए 440 हो गए 400 से 40 हो गए मैं कांग्रेस की मुसीबत समझता हूं बरसों से एक ही फेल प्रोडक्ट उसको बार बार लॉन्च करते हैं हर बार लॉन्चिंग फेल हो जाती है और अब उसका नतीजा यह हुआ है मतदाताओं के प्रति उनकी नफरत भी सातवें आसमान पर पहुंच गई है उनका लॉन्चिंग फेल होता है नफरत जनता पे करते हैं लेकिन पीआर वाले प्रचार क्या करते हैं मोहब्बत की दुकान का प्रचार करते हैं इको सिटी में लग पड़ती है इसलिए देश की जनता भी कह रही है ये है लूट की दुकान ओके सो द अटैक ऑन द गांधी सुधांशु त्रिवेदी This was supposed to be a no confidence motion revolving around Manipur. The prime minister chose it to attack the Gandhis Rahul Gandhi in particular. He sounded angry and bitter. Is this the prime minister in a way putting out his anger against Rahul Gandhi and Sonia Gandhi? Rajdeep if you look at the words and the body language of the opposition leaders and the prime minister who was looking angry it's quite clear and one thing i want to make it very clear opposition has nothing to do with manipur it was a systematic and well planned strategy of the congress party to prove its leadership among the very other uh, opposition party because aam aadmi party aam twisted them and forced them to support mm -hmm. the daily bill in rajya sabha so congress is a very chatur sayana party because it is the oldest party so they have brought the no confidence motion and you have seen what happened in the last three days who was on the center stage the congress party tarun uh, gorav gogoi started then uh, adhir ranjan choudhary was in the helm of affairs then the very interesting was how what rahul gandhi is going to where was jdu where was aam aadmi party where was uh, ncp and others 
so it has nothing to do with the towering personality of prime minister sri narendra modi but the target the no no but sudan should be the target on bharat mata no no but rahul gandhi's comments on bharat mata seem to anger the prime minister it he seemed to take it very personally uh uh rajdeep ji whatever rahul gandhi mm -hmm. has talked about bharat mata is definitely mm -hmm. requires pain and anguish both because it cannot be taken as an isolated event mm -hmm. because these are the people who always refrain in saying bharat mata ki jai these are the people who support those people who say we will not speak vande matram and rajdeep ji these are the people who are standing by the side of those people samajwadi party leader azam khan who 30 years back has used the word dayan for bharat mata means which for bharat mata and these are the people who are inspired by the ideology that india was never a country it was established by the britishers on, on the contrast we believe in bharat mata which is mentioned in brahaspat agam uttaram yat samudrasya dakshinam cha himadrabi varsham yad bharat nam bhartiya se sansati the bharat mata was eternal perpetual and they believe mm -hmm. that it was not at all. so if you look at the track record it is their mindset it was not the slip of tongue so that's why everybody who has true faith in this country is definitely has to be angry and which was reflected by the prime minister ajay kumar respond to what you just heard sudan shu trivedi says the prime minister's anger was because he believes that the concept of bharat mata is something that the congress party does not really believe in but the bjp does so it was rahul gandhi yesterday who targeted the prime minister saying manipur has uh, in a way murdered bharat mata the division of manipur and this was the prime minister striking back saying who are you to talk about bharat mata you are actually people who have in the past grievously wounded bharat mata are starting from 1947 तो भारत माता की जय सुधांशु जी और वंदे मातरम सुजलाम सुफलम मलय शीतलम पहले तो ये सब बकवास प्लीज स्टॉप टॉकिंग वन सेकंड प्लीज स्टॉप टॉकिंग नॉनसेंस ऑन ऑल ये भारत एक खोज वाज पंडित नेहरूस बुक प्रॉब्लम इज इफ यू डोंट रीड सो देयर इज अ ग्रेट बेनिफिट इन बीइंग अनएजुकेटेड बिकॉज़ व्हाट डिड नेहरू से दैट भारत माता इज नॉट ओनली द माउंटेंस एंड रिवर्स Bharat Mata is not the trees. Bharat Mata is the people of India, and the people of India are systematically been murdered, raped in Manipur, and they have the audacity to say that they are loyal. The guys who sat with the Britishers, and today they scream about Constitution Rajdi. The Supreme Court gave an order on the selection of the election commissioner, and these guys shamelessly the basics of the Supreme Court order they want to bypass. like they wanted to buy plus and they are swearing about the constitution so let me start one by one bharat mata ko to spreading hatred and dividing people putting kerosene kisko jala rahe ho bharat mata ko jala rahe ho who are the guys to do it anek amteen reports i have been in the police they are absolutely involved in all kinds of rightous activities there is record to show them they have history of rights all their leaders senior leaders senior leaders are there But, so my once so the prime I minister just... said the prime minister said the congress talks about mohabbat ki dukan you are the real nafrat ki dukan you have hatred towards the bjp hatred towards anyone who doesn't agree with the congress ideology no first question is we don't we don't hate the prime minister we don't hate the bhartiya janta party you look at the speeches and they like look at so let me start with amit shah mm -hmm. you have a home minister who spreads hatred one secondly lies kalavati videos obviously available it's okay prime minister comes on the floor of house and says that we made i am uh, in mizoram it was in 2011 this is what they come there they, it's this their level of education honestly speaking is surprising and it is not good for the country that such uneducated responses are met but i'm coming to the most important point it was today's the discuss the bharat mata what is bharat mata when you look after the people of bharat mata when you don't distinguish between muslim hindus forward backward scheduled caste between women and they continue to assault the idea of bharat mata as far as independence goes 
Let me not say this about what they have done during the freedom struggle. No, what is your idea of Bharat Mata? Very quickly and then I'll go to Sudhanshu. What is your idea of Bharat Mata? They must read Nehru. Bharat Mata is desh ke janta hai. Is desh ke anek, Himalaya se leke Kashmir, Kanya Kumari tak, Nagaland se leke karke Gujarat tak, Dwar kana Somnath tak. And imagine these guys, I am, I don't say he's anti, I don't, every Indian who comes, I believe, even on this TV, has the love of this nation foremost. They are the guys who continuously supported the British. Their ideology distinguishes caste. You tell me, Manu Adi Gharate, Bodo, Manu was a bad man. You tell on the TV, Nasu Danshu. You say that, I say constitution is great. Manu was a, Manu's philosophy is bad for India. Please say, I will Let's... really admire you. Okay. That Let's... Manu, Manu was, Manu propagated against women, against different against the caste structure i mean that his comments on the caste structure was horrible please say it. we will see whether the rss believes in okay just a minute dr ajay kumar now let sudanshu reply sudanshu is it that the prime minister the, the congress uh, claimed they were that that their view is that bharat mata in war is being see, is being in a way decimated by the bjp's hate politics that's what has been a running theme of Rahul Gandhi in particular. You are pitting Indian Actually, against Indian. Go ahead. Actually, first thing I would like to say, these people used to having a hangover of the British colonial mindset. Uh, first thing I will say, then I will respond to your answer. Mr. Ajay Kumar was talking about Manu Smriti. Can he quote how many chapters are there in Manu Smriti? Can he no, quote no, even no, two shrokas? He can't. So now I am coming. Just okay. a bit. No, no, you one second. Yeah, you tell me how many, how many chapters are there? I don't care. I don't because I believe in constitution. Yeah, no, you believe in Manu Smriti. So people now coming to present that. I don't no, know. No, 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 no. Ajay Kumar, let, 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 let him complete. Ajay Kumar, we are going to have a civilized yeah, yeah, debate. Agree. Please Accept, listen. Accepted. 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 So I should go. Civilized debate. Civilized And I challenge that all those, these people who used to say these type of things are nothing but a carried over effect of the British colonial legacy. As far as our concept of Bharat Mata is concerned, we consider this country which, for which Arthur Schopenhauer, the German philosopher who translated Upanishads into Vedas, that I will get final emancipation or moksha only after I am born in India. If you have to see the highest height of human intellect, it is seen in Upanishads, for which the animation the Congress president in 1920 has said, I found none so scientific, none so philosophic, none so uh, comprehensive as the religion known by the name of Hinduism. The more you know it, more you will love it. Sir, let's so come to today. Let's come to today, Sudhanshu ji. Let's come to today. When the, to when the Prime Minister says that Rahul Gandhi's Mohammed ki dukhan is actually a Naprat ki dukhan, explain it. Aray, janab, ye chale gaya Manu Smriti mein. Hum to aare hai today pe. हम टुडे पे आ रहे हैं। नाउ कमिंग तू टुडे, एकदम लेटेस्ट। ये भारत तेरे टुकड़े होंगे इंशाअल्लाह के साथ कौन खड़ा था? Who was standing by them? And that too on which day you remember? 9th of February 2015, the first anniversary, death anniversary of Abdul Guru. You were supporting them. And when Rahul Gandhi started the Bharat Yatra, Bharat Jodo Yatra, in Tamil Nadu, he met that George Punia, Father George Punia. Who uses to say, I wear the foot, wear the boot, because I considered this land of India so impure that I, my body should not get touched with that. Uske saata ke khade, and now you say, you are for the Bharat Mata. And you were there, not with that father Joseph whose hands were chopped. So I, we are very clear from north to south where you are standing as far as Bharat Mata is concerned because you are having no faith and elegance in the concept of the country. You are still, I just quote one sentence, Dadi. Mm -hmm. On 16th of May 2014, when we got clear majority under the leadership of Sri Narendra Modi. On 18th of May 2014, the Guardian newspaper of London, its editorial has written that 16th of May 2014 should be remembered as a day in Indian history on which Britishers finally left India.
because he said that the, for most of the time in post independence those who were ruling were carrying the legacy of the british colonial mindset for the first time a concept or an ideology has got a clear majority which is having no connection with the british your, your colonial bharat mata legacy, your bharat which is just, no just before i go to ajoy your bharat mata has equal Sir, space for hindus and muslims inko wo acha lagta hai your bharat mata has equal space for hindus and muslims for manipuris and uh, uh, kashmiris and every indian am i correct or wrong ha uh, let me complete the sentence you are talking about hindu muslim sir bharat mata is the only guarantee for all muslims If I ask you name a single country in the world in which all sects of Islam are there, it's only India. None of the 56 Muslim countries. And I quote, and yet there isn't a single BBC Muslim in the BJP March in, in Parliament in 2019. And yet there isn't a single Sir, Muslim my, MP of the was, BJP in Parliament. Let me complete the sentence. Let me complete the sentence. Uh, in this context, I would like to ask: Is there any Parsi in there? Uh, Parsi leader or MP in there? can they quote any buddhist cabinet minister had they ever made any non muslim the chairman of the minority commission i can quote but the parsis are most educated and advanced communities of the world okay and the muslims were one of the most educated and advanced at the time of 47 now they have been left behind forget about that i just want to say one thing sir mark telly has written in 2019 that the muslims in india are the luckiest and he has given an example that for 26 years he remained in the nizamuddin area of delhi and on one side there was hazrat nizamuddin auliyas dargah on the other side tablighi jamaat's office and he said none of the muslim country these two divergent sects should have survived for three decades and it is only india so okay. muslims are luckiest because in their own religion if they they can worship in whatever want they, manner they want to hindu hi guarantee hai muslims ke beech mein samanjas ki and in kashmir मुहर्रम का जुलूस कब निकला हमारी सरकार ने यूपी में लखनऊ में मैंने बचपन में शिया सुन्नी दंगे सुरे साहब मधे साहबा का जुलूस 78 में निकलना बंद हुआ हमारी सरकार में साहब शिया सुन्नी हारमोनी भी हमने क्रिएट की आप वेरियस सेक्स ऑफ इस्लाम भी हमने क्रिएट किया इट इज हिंदू एंड हिंदुइज्म इज द गारंटी ऑफ दैट एंड यू फॉरगेट अबाउट द हिंदू मुस्लिम यूनिटी यूनिटी एमंग द सेक्स ऑफ मुस्लिम इज गारंटीड बाय हिंदुइज्म ओनली वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बट बिफोर आई मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्विक रिस्पांस फ्रॉम यू अजय कुमार दे दिस मोहब्बत की दुकान वर्सेस नफरत की दुकान दी अटैक that this was a preservation of the you know that the entire attempt of the opposition is to preserve dynasty politics the politics of the gandhis quick response and we'll move on yeah so so jyotiraj sindhya jay shah anurag thakur or all you know non dynastic they're full of dynasty i mean they, see the lies okay first of all let me counter him with one thing mr gandhi walked from kashmir to kanyakumari ye 5 km chalne wale nahi hai bharat mata ke liye ye kya bolenge desh ke bare mein dusra i will tell you what is their idea about they are giving that is they are the great supporters of muslim he didn't say i am against manusmriti because they believe in the caste structure they believe in the oppression they believe they are goal kar se leke rss wale the isi mein paida hue leave that aside bharat mata for them is caste hierarchy you continue with that second the third most important point mr kharge is a buddhist salman kushti was a foreign minister thoda pad lo boss our national president is a buddhist kharge sahab par aap padte hi nahi ho problem yahi hai Jayaji Tata was a Parsi. One sec. Jayaji Tata was a Parsi. Was a made a chairman of Air India. Boy, sir, pad lo. But BJP me kya jhoot bolo? Tukre, tukre. Tum log, you guys are capable of doing it from behind. Usme karva hui. Making videos of Muslim, uh, Hindu standing and Muslim names, making videos and making false allegation. Tukre gang are you guys okay. who create hatred, okay. who create divide. Okay, let so, me. So tukre actual asli tukre Manipur ko tukre karne me pad. The, uh, we'll Rajin come to Manipur. Manipur into Tugre. We'll we'll come to Manipur, but I want to come to the second important element of the Prime Minister's attack, which was discrediting opposition's India plank. Listen into what Prime Minister Modi said about the new India Alliance. Inki musibat aisi hai ki khud ko jinda rakhne ke liye, khud ko jinda rakhne ke liye. इनको एनडीए का ही सहारा लेना पड़ा है खुद को जिंदा रखने के लिए इन्हें एनडीए का ही सहारा लेना पड़ा है लेकिन आदत के मुताबिक 
घमंड का जो आई है ना आई वो उनको छोड़ता नहीं है और इसलिए एनडीए में दो आई पिरो दिए दो घमंड के आई पिरो दिए पहला आई छब्बीस दलों का गमन और दूसरा आई एक परिवार का गमन अजय कुमार रिस्पॉन्ड टू वॉट यू हर्ड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर कॉन्स्टेंटली सेइंग दिस इंडिया अलायंस इज एन अनवर्कबल अनवायबल अलायंस इट्स एन अलायंस टू सेव वन फैमिली इट्स एन अलायंस दैट हैज घमंड और एरोगेंस बिल्ट इन इट Yeah, but just a factual correction, Sudan Shuji. Your own minister says there is no information on Tukde Tukde guy. You guys are, you know, masters of Gobelian talk. Yeah, they're okay, going to the parliament. Parliament, one thing. No, it has to be clarified so that let's get Tukde. Their home minister said this minister for state home said no information on Tukde Tukde. TV me agar bolte rahiye. Koi dikkat nahi. Okay, come to Now, my question. Yeah, your question is on the India Alliance. On the government. Sorry. On the arrogance of the India Alliance, the government. Yeah. Who was who was arrogant? What is gaman? I mean, the, the you saw the you seen the prime minister's speech. You seen the the way the BJP guys behave. You tell me what is wrong? What was was there any? Has the India Alliance? We the people of the India Alliance have we ever ever said anything which will even remotely indicate that we are you know gaman? They they are scared of the India Alliance because. fact is raji that looking at the chemistry looking at the vote share they got 31% or 33 33% of the vote if i remember by numbers i may be 37 38% in 2019 yeah yeah so so for first of all the man comes in and talks about 400 se 40 ho gaye aap to do seat the hum kitne baar bole ki aap do seat mein aaye the 50 saal tak to adwani ji aur vajpayee ji launch ho rahe the they were struggling we we said that they were launching them we will never use The question, kind of words, the freedom struggle took, took us 50. The freedom struggle from the uh, took so many years for the Congress Party from 1885 onwards. The question again is, Gamandi Kone. Look at the Prime Minister, the way he speaks. That Can is I, the actual symbol of Gaman. You're saying the, the Prime, Prime Minister is the actual symbol of Gaman. Sudan Shu Trivedi respond that the Prime Minister is the real narcissist, according to the opposition. The opposition said the Prime Minister is the one who is troubled with I factor. He seems to always play the role of victim, as if it's him versus the world, and he's already claiming that he's winning 2024. Who is the Gaman? Gaman. uh one thing i will respond rajdeep first who is uh, trying to give a gobels propaganda mr ajay kumar said that mr khadge is a buddhist and dr ambedkar embraced buddhism saying that buddhism doesn't believe in the caste system so how can mr khadge ji be a scheduled caste and they have already always shown in karnataka khadge ji was saying jai bajrang bali And now, the, how convenient Goebbels truth you try to propagate? The eh? answer, but the, you are making the mockery of Baba Ambedkar and also the Buddhism. Now come to it present on the arrogance issue, sir. Everybody knows that if Rahul Gandhi has shown and even an iota of humbleness, he would have been kept very easily get out of the this legal battle which was going on. Still, he is facing four cases of defamation, in which nothing but uh, arrogance is there. and in the last 2018 no confidence what he has said to prime minister aap meri aankhon mein aankhein nahi dal sakte what does this mean as far as the sheer arrogance is concerned it is reflected from the body language and others of the congress party because they considered that they are born to rule but the 21st century voters have proved from north to south that those who are trying to put a dynastic rule in the pretext or disguise of democracy have been totally rejected from mahbooba's mukti uh, losing in jammu kashmir to badal family losing in punjab to huda family losing in haryana to akhilesh yadav wife losing in uttar pradesh lalu yadav's uh, daughter losing in uh, uh, in bihar ashok gehlot's son losing in uh, uh, rajasthan even tdp son telugu desham wo devgoda son and among all rahul gandhi losing so sir try to understand the new 21st century voter is understanding they do not want to give anybody just on the basis of 
claim that I am there, I am entitled. No, you have to do and prove as Prime Minister has said, Kamdar hona padega, namdar se nahi milega. Okay. You have to prove with your ability, not by the entitlement. Kamdar versus namdar, once again, Ajoy Kumar. Entitlement yes, so, versus so, performance is what the Prime Minister claimed. So, so I think I need to do a reality check. What is Jay Shah? What is Anurag Thakur? What is Ms. Vasundaraj's son? What is it? Parivar what? What is Yadurappa's son doing? Boss, you guys are in incredible. Gobelian lies again. Yadurappa ji, let me start. From every MP, the majority of the MPs, who are the family members? The problem is the Gandhis have not been, there has not been a Gandhi prime minister for over 35 years, 33 years or so. Manmohan Singh ji was a Congress prime minister. Parivarwal. This is the question. Problem is you guys, the lies you say. Has there been a Gandhi Prime Minister for the past 25 odd years? No. Please tell on national television. Then where is the Parivar Vat? The second issue is, look at your family, look at the guys, all your ministers. Aapke jitne, Bishbushan Singh ke beta kya kar hai banke? Rajnath Singh ka beta kya kar hai vidayak banke? Aur aap Parivar Vat ke baat, see, what is great is the bhaashan they do, yaar. I, okay, I let, I mean, let, let so him respond. Sudhan, You've given examples. You've given examples. A quick response, uh, Su Sudanshu Trivedi. The BJP no uh, longer can take the uh, moral yes. high ground of the Congress I will give Parivar just Vat. three sentences. Uh, I will just give three sentences and the, uh, your viewers will understand. There is a difference between Parivar Vad and person. Like, uh, Rajdeep, you are anchoring this show. Yeah. There cannot be a ban that none of member of your family can become a journalist or none of the members of your family can join the India Today group. But this is not Parivarvad. Parivarvad is that if you say whenever you will leave the anchorship of this program, it will have to pass over to your one of the family members. Which is happening there, the anchorship of the Congress parties is 100 years. 1920, Motilal Nehru was party president and now de facto anchorship. Are, koi bhi ban jai. Even Prime Minister was also proxy and uh, President is also proxy. That's why Rahul Gandhi is just a mere member of parliament these days. He is neither leader of the opposition, nor party president, nor general secretary, nor vice president, but entire party rallies behind him. Sir, ye anchorship, this is Parivar Vaj. Yes, okay. Puji. Money everybody wants, but Puji Vad means Can I... when you want to control with entitlement, sir, there is a difference. Okay, I want to come to the next issue, which was supposed to be the focus of this no confidence motion, Manipur. The Prime Minister, in his speech, appeared to fix Manipur's blame on the Congress, saying, look at the Congress's track record. Listen in. Aaj Manipur ke ko aise kiye ja raha hai. जैसे बीते कुछ समय में ही वहां यह परिस्थिति पैदा हुई है कल अमित भाई ने विस्तार से बताया है समस्या क्या है कैसे हुआ है लेकिन मैं आज बड़ी गंभीरता से कहना चाहता हूं नॉर्थ ईस्ट की इन समस्याओं की कोई जननी है तो जननी नहीं एक मात्र कांग्रेस है नॉर्थ ईस्ट के लोग इसके लिए जिम्मेवार नहीं है इनकी ये राजनीति जिम्मेवार है आदरणीय अध्यक्ष जी भारतीय संस्कारों से ओत प्रोत मणिपुर भाव भक्ति की समृद्ध विरासत वाला मणिपुर स्वतंत्रता संग्राम और आजाद हिंद फौज अनगिनत बलिदान देने वाला मणिपुर कांग्रेस के शासन में ऐसा महान हमारा भूभाग अलगाव की आग में बलि चढ़ गया था प्राइम मिनिस्टर टारगेटिंग द कांग्रेस फॉर he says failures in the Northeast, Sudhanshu Trivedi. The fact is Narendra Modi is in power today. The BJP is in power. Manipur also has a BJP government. This is supposed to be your double engine government. When will you accept some accountability, some responsibility? In a two hour, 13 minute speech, it took 97 minutes for the Prime Minister to speak on Manipur. And he wouldn't even have spoken if there was no, no confidence motion. 
uh, on Manipur, you were asking. Yes. So, Prime Minister and yesterday Home Minister has made it categorically clear. Since 2018, six and a half year our government was there before May 2023. Was there any blockade? Was there any agitation? Was there any killing? Was there any uprising? Everything was cool. And for the first time, you have talked about double engine. A good strain has reached Manipur. Maximum number of roadways has come. For the first time, a train has reached Agartala. For the first time, air connectivity to Sikkim. For the first time, longest bridge between Arunachal and Assam. And Prime Minister Modi visited Northeast 50 times. And for 10 years, Dr. Manmohan Singh remained in Indian Parliament as a representative from, as Prime Minister representative for Assam. My friend Ajay Kumarji cannot quote even five instances in which he has visited in the various parts of Northeast. So there is a difference. And as far as the previous incidents are concerned, Prime Minister has quoted so many things that the Northeast, what has happened, he has quoted the 6th of March 1966 when the Air Force bombarded Mani, uh, Mizoram and bombarded for around six Days. Sir, but we so are in I 2023. No, no, Sudan Shuji, no when the Prime Minister quote Jawaharlal Nehru, so what happened in 66 in Mizoram, we are in 2023. You are in power. Uh, sir, that's why I'm, I'm coming to that. Sir. I would like to remind, yes, of course, there were several unfinished agenda of independence. Mm -hmm. One was Kashmir. What happened? Up to Kashmir chala gaya na? Jaha Pakistan IS ke jhande patthar baji now G20 summit is happening. 1 crore 88 lakh visitors, tourists have come. Now, jo kaite the jhanda lagane wala nahi milega, jhande ki katar usi dhang se, this conflict, this ethnic mm -hmm. conflict, it is nothing but, it is having a gross old history of 70, 75 years, even going up to the centuries, mm -hmm. which has not been yet settled. And government has managed to get peaceful uh, adjustment of both the community, but suddenly it erupted out of a court judgment, in which the government was having no rule, but the moment it has happened, Home Minister has given an explanation, except the first three days, then the gradually the violence is coming Ajay down. Kumar. So, government no. is having no. full sensitivity, and they are having sensation on Manipur. Sensitivity versus sensation, Ajay Kumar, on Manipur. No. <clears throat> so, I'm disappointed that he didn't say Nehruji was responsible for Manipur. I'm really disappointed with their level of discussion. It is this, I've, I've also served in the, in the police. Nine years you're in power. Mm -hmm. And now suddenly it is Congress policy. And they claim, claim and, you know, Mr. Tivedi, it is a great benefit that, you know, the, most of the Bhatia Janata Party refused to read. What was the condition of when India became independent? One of the world's poorest countries. Borders under threat. Can, did we start saying we took rail to Delhi? We took airport to Bombay? Did we say that we took airport to Chennai? 70, we did that because it had to be done. So some places you will do as a government. Every government does. So please stop, you know, bragging your small achievements on national TV. Come sick in my Hawaii's Ponchadi. Hamnato Sar Pura Deshma Hawaii's Ponchadi is a part of the government job. Second issue on Manipur and Northeast. If you see the Northeast aspirations, creating states, creating states from Assam, Assam, there was all the seven sisters of Assam was created by, by Congress, uh, uh, Pandit Nehru, and then Indira Gandhi's time. The assimilation of the Northeast, those were challenges, there have been challenges. But in Manipur, what has happened? What has happened in Manipur is the first time in the history of India is that there are there is technically two communities at a genocide level. There is not a single cookie in the valley, and there's not a single mighty in the hill. And when you have a state central government where the Manipur police files an FIR against Assam rifles. 7,000 weapons or 6,000 weapons are robbed and you continue with the chief minister because you think that this is not record bura nahi hai kyunki bhartiya janata party ke chief minister ka record aisa hi hai you tell me 6,000 arms looted from a state whose population is 38 20 32 lakhs 5 lakh rounds congress is responsible Can nine I... years you have been in power what nonsense is this anything you can say on national tv Sudan Who is responsible for the weapons looting? And Mr. Amit Shah, Mr. Amit Shah says that... I mean, no, let him Mr. answer, let him answer. Let him answer. Who is accountable, Sudan Shudh Trivedi, according to Ajoy Kumar? You are in power. Uh, Who is accountable? Chief Minister not accountable, Home Minister not accountable, Mr. Prime Ajay Minister Kumar. not accountable, DG of Police Ajay not Kumar. accountable. Who is accountable? 
मिस्टर अजय कुमार डोंट टॉक इन रिस्पॉन्सिबल ऑन नेशनल चैनल वॉट इज योर बेसिस ऑफ द फिगर फाइव लैक राउंड वॉट इज द बेसिस Second thing, what is your if basis? They are your thinking six, six that the money goes to the government has failed. What is the no? What is the basis? Don't talk irresponsible. No, because you are making a no, your minute. government says six lakh rounds. Well, one minute, Ajay Kumar. Ajay Kumar, one minute, one minute. What is true uh, is that no, no, one minute. What is true? Let me. Uh, 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 what is true is weapons have been looted from police armories. Sudanshu Trivedi. The fact is. Who, who is going to be held accountable ah, for Manipur? No chief minister accountability, no home minister, no prime minister. Sir, so who is accountable? Thing, first, let, let me complete my submission, sir. Let me complete my submission. Yes. First thing I would like to say, Radhiv, they are talking about that the dismissal of the Manipur chief minister. Why are not bringing no confidence motion in Manipur Vidhan Sabha? I challenge. Because they know that they are doing water boundary here in Delhi and there the situation is so sensitive, they cannot sustain there. That's why they are not bringing any no confidence motion against the Manipur government. And as far as the looting is concerned, I would remind the mention, the incident mentioned by Prime Minister, thousands of Assam rifles, automatic weapons were looted in 66 and the army was unable to enter. That's why the bombarding for six days of air force was done. Sir, kus to yaad rakha kariye. In 1993, blockade continued in Manipur for more than one okay. year. 7,000 people died. So, so you're yeah. in Narsimha Rao government. Okay. And the statement was no, by the MOS the home. And you so are it saying was, that uh, it was 700, not 7,000. And the Prime Minister started speaking, you, yeah. you ran away. Okay, it was 700, not 7,000. But the fact is, we are in 2023. And the oh, debate sorry, that has taken place in Parliament people. has been in 2023. You've heard the Prime Minister for two hours, 13 minutes, breaking a record set by Lal Bahadur Shastri for a Prime Minister's response to a uh, no-confidence motion by one minute. You've heard the two sides here today. Ajoy Kumar from the Congress, Sudanshu Trivedi from the BJP. It's always good to have two speakers coming in and giving their viewpoints without necessarily barring the occasional moment, actually shouting over each other. I hope you, the viewers, have been illuminated I hope our politics can be more, less partisan, more reconciliatory. I wish we could provide the healing touch to Manipur and several other parts of the country where opposition and government can work together on issues of national importance. This was a debate which sadly, in parliament at least, was extremely hyper-polarized, angry, more than educative at times. On TV today though, Sudanshu Trivedi and Ajoy Kumar reflected the mood of their two parties. I thank you both for joining us and you, the viewers, as we decode the Prime Minister's speech, it's for you to decide. Kaun jita, kaun hara. That's not my job. Thanks for watching. Stay well, stay safe. Jai Hind, Shubhratri, Fir Subaho. Tomorrow will be another day. Bye for now.